So Giovatella will be on the run. Renda now plays behind him at first. And here is the payoff. A slider down the left field line. There's a base hit. Dickerson's in. Giovatella around second. Heading for third. Getting waved home. Here's Irvin's relay on the third base, but not brought home by Dixon. A base hit by Cisco. And the Tide scoring a pair of take him a lead. Alvarez, by the way, in his last nine outings, 12 for 38, a 316 clip. Tied for third in the league at home runs, third at RBIs. Here's the payoff. He swings a sinking line drive into right on the run. It falls down in front of Elizalde. Around third, heading home, Cisco. The throw home is laden up the line. Cisco slides in, and Alvarez has his 51st run batted in. Three to one tie. Aquino's 1-2 pitch, in on his hands, slices it into shallow right. Washington comes running in, and now sliding feet first makes the catch. With the wind coming in, it was absolutely just killing that baseball. It died in the air and then dropped straight down, so Washington ended up having to run a long way and makes a really good catch against sliding feet first to put it away. So Sweeney retired, bats go down 1-2-3. That's seven straight now retired by Aquino. We go to the bottom of the fifth inning. Tides with a 3-1 lead. So what does it out with a bus ticket? Here comes the 2-0. Skied into left, hit pretty well, but playable for Anna Brett Walker. In his Tides debut, Walker's going to make the final put out of the game as he grabs the fly up the bat of Renda. And the Tides with a solid pitching performance. Three pitchers combining to scatter four hits and allow just a run as the Tides come back home and claim a win tonight over the Louisville Bats. Three.